Hello everyone, today I'll be showing how to add git submodules to your Unity project as Unity packages and how to configure them to be automatically updated when you pull your main repository. Uh, so I believe that this process is gonna significantly improve your handling of uh, external dependencies and it's gonna make you sure that you always have the up-to-date version of your submodules whenever you are developing a Unity project. So let's dive in. So right now I have two repositories. One of them is my Unity repository, which, which I'm gonna call main repository, as you can see. And the other is my submodule example uh, repository, which is also pretty much empty. Uh, there is a script submodule class as you can see the only script that exists in it is empty so uh, what I'm gonna do here is that I'm just gonna add the submodule example project as a submodule to my main repository so if I were to go to assets right click show in explorer it takes me to the root directory of my main repository so I'm just gonna open git bash terminal here and uh, oh, to start it, to write the first command, I also need the uh, submodule example projects git https. I just need this git link so that I can configure, right? So I'll return back to the git bash and I'll write git submodule add. I'll pass this git link that I just copied and I'll write the directory that I want this submodule to be located at and I just want it to be a unity package, right? So backslash submodule example project. Uh, right now I don't have this submodule example project directory but don't worry about it, Git will create it for us. So if I were to add, sorry, press enter it's gonna clone it to the packages submodule example project directory. So uh, right now, if I were to go to packages, I can see that uh, the repository is cloned and the script is here, but there is no packages that I can see from Unity. The reason is that Unity identifies packages through package.json files. And for that, I already have this package.json file, which is the default package.json file. So I'm just gonna uh, leave the link in the description. So don't worry about it right now. I'm just gonna copy it and return root directory of my main repository and click packages, click to the package, and I will paste the file here, right? I will open it. So, as you can see, there's like lots of placeholder um, fields and stuff. So I'm just gonna delete the dependencies because right now we don't have any dependency. And I will just change the name to com.mycompany.submodule.example.project. It doesn't really matter, um, you know. So I'm just gonna leave the rest as it is and save it. If I go back to the Unity right now, the Unity will refresh, as you can see. It's reloading everything, and we can see our submodule example package here. But right now, we won't be able to reach the submodule class or any other script contents of this uh, repository, because Unity wants you to add um, assembly definitions here so I'm just gonna do that I'll click to the example and create assembly definition right and I will name it like submodule example it's refreshing and I will also go to the main folder to the assets folder sorry create a folder here I'm gonna call it test and I will create <clears throat> another assembly definition and I'll name it like test I'll move my test script to the test folder where I also hold the test assembly definition so if I open my test script mm -hmm -hmm. 
Yes. As you can see, it's empty. I will also open the submodule class and I will just put it here so that you can see both of the scripts at the same time. Um, I'm just going to add um, a dummy method to the submodule class, which I'm going to call public string call this or submodule call, right? And I'm going to name it turn this is called from submodule and close this. So um, I'm just going to create an instance of this class within my main repository submodule. Oh, wait. First thing that I forgot to do here is that I didn't attach the assembly definitions to each other. So I'm just going to go back and click to the test uh, definition and add another definition here, which was submodule example. Right. And Unity will refresh. And now I'll be able to see my submodule class, right? And I created this. So I'm just going to log whatever this function is returning, right? Submodule class, submodule call. And I'll return back to Unity. I'll create an empty Unity object right here. And I'll attach this test script to it. So if I start, you can see this is called from submodule within the Unity console. So we have added uh, the repository as a submodule to main repository, but right now we didn't really configure the git, so that's what we are going to do. I'm just going to stop this and then return to our main repository, root directory, and I'll... Oh, I already have the git bash here. So what I'm going to do here is that I will write uh, git config diff dot submodule log. What this uh, command does is basically logs every every difference within the submodule so that our main repository can see if there is anything to fetch, pull or whatever. So I'm just gonna click enter. There's no error or anything. And the second method is that git config update dot submodule recursive. So if I were to write on dash demand instead of recursive, I would have to uh, update my submodule manually. If you want that, just write um, on demand like that. But I'm not going to do that right now because I want everything to be automatically updated. So I'm just going to write recursive. Now that we did configure the git, uh, I just want to confirm that every change is applied. So if I were to go to my uh, root directory, um, as you can see, there is git modules within the uh, root directory. If I were to click on it, I can see that there is uh, my submodule called submodule example project with URL and path to it. And also I can go to um, .git directory and click to the config, open it in whatever you want. You should see your submodule here and your div is also log and your submodule mode is set to recursive. So this means that we are set. Everything that we have promised is done. So thank you for watching this video, guys. I really appreciate if you have watched to this far. So thank you for that. So don't forget to like, subscribe or watch more. So see you next week, hopefully. So thank you, guys.